Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and I'm going to be talking about how to work with text within Premiere Pro. So text is a key component when you're talking about video, when you're talking about intro videos, you're talking about credits, you're talking about anything you may need text to apply to when you're you know, creating or working with video footage. So I'm going to be talking about how to, you know, the basics of working with text in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you need to know is how do I add text? How do I open up the text panel? So the first thing you want to do is go down here to your media browser or where you, you know, all your clips are hosted and then right click somewhere and then go to new item. You'll see a new item option here and then you'll see one that says title. Click on title. Once you do that, it'll ask you, you know, how, you know, why do you want it? How high do you want it? Uh, how many, you know, frames per second? Let's not worry about any of that in this video. Click OK. Once you do that, you will see the text panel and editing options become available. Now, in order to add text, go ahead and just click on the text tool. You'll have a type tool just like you would in many of the Adobe suite of software. Click that and then go ahead and select anywhere here in the workspace area and then go ahead and type out your text. So I'm going to go ahead and type out Tech Guru and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my selection tool which is this one here, the little mouse icon here and then you can drag that text wherever you want it on the screen. Now all I need to do is grab my type tool one more time and then highlight my text and then now I can go up here and go to you know, select what type of font I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. Now, if I want to increase the size, you do that just like you would in any other program. You go up here to size and drag this as far as you want it to get it to go where you want it. So that would increase the size of the text. Now, if I want to change, say, the opacity, I can do that here. So I can decrease the opacity or I can increase the opacity. So you can go down here on the right hand column under title properties and you can look at all of these and play around with them and kind of see how you want to edit and adjust your text. Now let's say I wanted to change the text color. All I need to do is go under here to where you see fill. You will see color here. Select that little color, whatever it may be, white or red, whatever it may be, and then go down through here and change the color of that text just like so. There's a lot of other options here like leading and kerning and that's really technical stuff that if you know and have worked with text before you can mess with but if you haven't don't worry about it right now. You can also change the font style if you want to make it bold or italic if that font family provides that. Also another important thing when working with text. There's a little option up here that if you highlight over it it says show background video. If you click that and it is selected the text that you see here will go above the background video and you can see what it's going to look like if you want to see what it's going to look like just by itself without any background video select that and it'll show a transparent background I'm gonna go ahead and leave that selected you also see the normal formatting options such as left align center align right align all over here and then down below you'll see some title slides this these are some pre-made options that Adobe provides you with if you want to go with those you don't have to but just some effects have been applied down here below now once we have our text the way that we want it it's as simple as just going up here and clicking the X you know X out of that and then we'll see our title option here that we just created it'll be its own video clip to place where we want it so I'm gonna go ahead and click and hold and then drag that onto my canvas here and then if you look on my timeline that title frame has been added now I have not added any type of audio or any type of effect on that and we'll do that in later videos we're just talking about the basics of working with text if I wanted to I could go in here and add some keyframes add some uh, options to make it spin around to make it get larger change colors I could do all of that through effects but right now we're just talking about getting it in our composition once we have our title here we can go up here and select it and make sure it's where we want it make sure it's the color we want it and if we ever want to go back and edit or change the title screen itself you can right click on it like so and then go back to you know double click on it just like so and then change it any way you want it so anyways guys I hope this has been a tutorial that has helped you out if it has go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below share it with your friends and family subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time